Hey everyone, just a quick update based on today's price action on the markets as whole, but AMC specifically. Well, at the time I'm making this video, it's about 30 seconds before the bell closes on Wall Street and everything is green, especially AMC who just rebounded from the 14th um, to all the way up to past 16 and is flirting with 16 and a half. As a matter of fact, it even flirted with 17, so up 10% as um, you know the market is about to close just now. So what happened? Well, if you scroll on the news, nothing really. But what tells what this what this means or tells us? Well, as any time, you know, and I'm making these videos and especially these last times, I called on a sharp rebound on AMC to start. Is it it? Well, I hope so. And I'm sure no, not at all because the market this market is really very, very unpredictable. I mean, you cannot just predict the market in general, but sometimes you can have a preview based on some of the indicators, how the economy is looking at, you know, some of the stuff like earnings. But here today, nothing really happened. So what happened in the contrary, in the market as a whole, as you can see here on all the major indexes, everything was just green. The Nasdaq is up more than 1%, but the Russell 2000 is really what outperform all of the other indexes, 1.6%. So 1.6%, it's it's very big because for the Russell 2000, I mean, anytime it goes up, AMC has to go up. And every time it goes down, well, sometimes AMC will be dragged down because AMC is heavily weighted into the Russell 2000. It's, I think it's the number one top stock in the Russell 2000, given the market cap, you know, around $8.2 billion as of today. Well, this tells us that when the buying pressure comes in, but I think here this is really from the suits. Why? Because if you check the fidelity orders or the buy ratio orders, let me see if I can actually pull that up. Fidelity AMC buy ratio orders. You can actually see that nobody is selling. Nobody is selling. And by nobody, I mean the retail investors. The retail investors are in, in, in AMC. Now, when it comes to the suits, the institutional owners, you know, the big boys with the big pockets, here we go. They actually buy and uh, they have the ability to actually get this thing moving because it might not be controlled by the dog pools. Remember that, you know, according to the New York Stock Exchange president and Gary Gensler himself, 99.5% of retail orders are not going through the lead market. They are not even impacting the share price based on the law of the offer of demand that every other AMC, I mean, stocks on the market are supposed to behave. Well, today means like, I mean, today means definitely that, hey, when it's time to go, this can go and this will go. So AMC is so predictable, it's so unpredictable because any single day, any single time, this stock can just go to the moon. It, it, it can just skyrocket. So it's just a matter of being patient. I know we all kind of want this to end and move along, but... Something worth waiting for usually takes some time and a lot of patience. So that's about it, folks.